Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I always feel so weird. I don't know. Anyway, um, hey guys, how are you? Um, so today I thought I would talk about flawless. Blah, blah, blah. I would talk about flawless foundation. A lot of my girlfriends um, and clients they love the way that I apply foundation. So I thought I would talk to you guys about that today. Um, I use very heavy coverage foundation on a day to day basis. I love that full coverage, drag queen, like give it to me type of makeup. Um, but I hate the cakiness. So I have, I feel like I found a really good way to achieve that without getting the cakiness because no one wants a cakey bitch. No. So um, I am going to give you an in depth. Sorry, I still have. I'm mixing hand. Um, I'm going to give you an in-depth explanation and detailed step-by-step -step on how to achieve a flawless foundation application. So, yeah, I guess that's what we're going to go with. Um, but yeah, and this should last you all night. This is what I do when I have a freaking 24-hour uh, day when I'm going from morning to morning. Literally. You're going, yeah, early in the morning, all the way. Yeah, this is what I do. It stays on, it lasts all freaking day. I don't have to reapply now, mind you. I am not super oily, I do oil up just as like your average girl would, but I do not have oily skin. I have more of a combination skin tone. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to learn how I cheat this today, um, stay tuned. Um, thank you so much for watching. And So I have nothing on my face. I already did my eyebrows and my eyeshadow, just just like normal. Um, the only thing that I have on my skin right now is moisturizer. So make sure that all makeup, if you've done a smoky eye or anything like that, all makeup is off your face and you can use just a traditional wet wipe cleaning towel. Um, but you're going to get your primer. I've used this for years now. I absolutely love it. I don't have issues or a whole lot of issues with my um, my skin itself or like larger pores or anything like that. Um, so I don't need a crazy um, expensive primer. But I have a lot of um, friends that they do have large pores and they use other things. Um, I would suggest the Benefit Professional. That one's just it's a good go-to. I know everyone typically loves that. But I'm going to take the NYX, it's the, this one marks here, it's the Studio Perfect Photo Loving Primer, um, it's great, I love it, blah blah blah. So you're going to take a little bit of that, um, I'm just using my hands, whenever I apply this on clients, I do not use my hands, but it's just ourselves. So go ahead, I just put a pea sized amount in or on my hands. I'm sorry, this is concealer from when I carved my brows out earlier. Now that that's nice and on, it has like a very um, silicone feel to it. Like it's just smooth surface, so it feels very soft. Okay, so now we're going to start with our foundation. I use a combination of two different foundations. Um, whenever I need my makeup to be heavy duty and long lasting and yeah, like just the full on beat face, this is my holy grail. I always, this is what I always go to. Um, I tend not to stray away from this unless like I'm just doing a light day or I just don't give a fuck, but this is my holy grail. So what we're going to be using today is Studio Fix Fluid from MAC. And then we're going to be using MAC Face and Body Foundation. And the face and body is in color C3 and, and C30 for the Studio Fix itself. So I'm going to be mixing those. Now, here's the deal. Um, here's the deal. MAC Studio Fix is... Really? Sometimes I hate iCloud. Anyway... Okay, so Studio Fix, it is Max 
Heaviest Duty Foundation. I absolutely love it. I've been obsessed with it for years. Um, back in the day, I would only, I would wear Studio Fix even just to go to Publix. Like, this is my, oh, my foundation. Why are you still texting me? Okay. So, Studio Fix, my absolute favorite. This is my go-to. But, what I recently discovered, probably about eight months ago, um, that MAC Face and Body is life. So, Face and Body is actually a water, um, it's a water-based foundation. So, it has like a stickier, thinner consistency than MAC, like a, than MAC Studio Fix. So what I always do, I use the back of my hand as a mixing canvas all of the freaking time. So I'm gonna put, I already put some face and body on there. I'm putting, or I put Studio Fix on my hand. Now I have face and body. And we're going to take a Morphe M442 brush and I'm literally just gonna mix it. Just mix away, mix away. Here. So just mix those two on your brush. This brush gives amazing full coverage application. So this is one of my favorites whenever I need to go heavy duty for special events, a night out. So what I always do is I just take a wet, um, wet beauty blender and you're just gonna pat that in. Don't move it around, just literally pat it into the skin. This is going to give you more of an airbrushed look and it's gonna take care of all that streakiness and just blend it down. Oh, and mixing the Studio Fix and the face and body makes, I feel like it amps up Studio Fix so then it has more of a skin-like consistency so it doesn't look as cakey on because sometimes it does have a tendency you can over keep layering it and layering it and it can tend to look chalky. So with the face and body since it's a water-based it allows it to stick to the skin a little bit more so. it's It works for me. I really do suggest you try it. This is the combination that I use whenever I go out at night and I am going to be with the girls and dancing, whatever, it lasts the longest. So, okay. So that is about it for this step. Now we're going to go into concealer. Favorite thing in the world. I'm just squirting two little squirts of MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. Uh, this is my favorite. I've tried a couple other concealers and it doesn't compare to this one um, in color NC20. So just taking that um, and then I'm taking my Morphe M224. I've talked to you guys about this one. I use this to carve out my brows and to apply primer on your lid or shadow primer. I'm just taking this, applying it. I do suffer from dark circles. Um, it's hereditary. I have allergies. And, eh, it is what it is. So I try to go a little bit more hardcore on coverage. I need, I need all the help. Just going underneath and cleaning up the eyeliner that I applied earlier, just making sure the concealer doesn't get onto any of it. So sometimes you know how guys won't watch you when you do your makeup? This is the part. It's like, what the fuck, why do you want to see me when I look like this? Okay. So now we're taking that same beauty blender that we had before, it's still wet. I'm going to use the tip of it and we're just going to pat it in.
Okay, and this is where I'm gonna finish this one before I start talking. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Okay, so this is where I use the bottom end or use the fat end of the beauty blender and with your concealer if you have any areas where it's like oh it's such a harsh transition or if you have any lines with it this is where I take it and you still have leftover foundation on there and you're just gonna go around the edges and blend it of the concealer so then you create a nice transition you just don't want any harsh lines around anything. You want it to look seamless. And then I take the bottom of the butt of the beauty blender and go on the edge of your nose as well. So then it's gonna create a little bit of a contour. Yes, honey. Okay. And if you feel like, oh my god, my under eye highlighter is so light, it's okay. It's okay. Promise. We're gonna fix it. Okay, so now quickly before it dries or it starts to crease, because any concealer is going to crease on you if you do not set it. Remember this. You learn nothing from me. Remember this. If you have something that's wet and you don't set it, it's gonna crease regardless. It, no matter if it says not creasing, blah blah blah, this is going to crease. Like it's gonna start creasing if I don't set it with a powder. So Number one favorite thing ever is our Mercier translucent powder. I use this every day. So I was just giving it a couple smacks. So then it comes out. Woo, yes. Okay, so just to make sure that everything's blended out, I'm gonna, one more time, underneath the eye with my beauty blender, just to make sure that any creases that may have started to try to form, I get rid of those bitches. Okay, dry beauty blender. You can see it's covered in powder because this is the one I always use for that. Stamp your Laura Mercier on there and literally stamp it on your face. Like, press it in. And now we look gorgeous. Okay, you know. So, you're going to let that set for a little bit. Let that sit for a couple minutes. What I typically always end up doing is start working on another part of my face. This is when I would apply my lashes, um, start doing my contour, whatever it may be. But you just let it sit. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, MAC Studio Fix powder in color C4 and my MAC 129 brush. And I'm just going to take it and apply it in all the places that I don't have the Laura Mercier translucent powder. This is setting your foundation. So, and this acts as some, something for your foundation to actually stick to. So then when you start putting the powdered contour on, it's not gonna just stick in one spot and then be blotchy. This is gonna allow it to have some room to actually blend it out. So this is one of my favorite ways to do it.
Okay, that's it. And I really do, I love a good wing liner and hot pink lips. I feel like it's a twist on the traditional, the red lips. But yeah, so this is how to achieve a flawless face. But yeah, so that's how I do my foundation every fucking day. This is my go-to. This is what I always do. Um, I'm telling you, it does not look too cakey at all. I know it's difficult to, to see in camera, but yeah, it lasts all day long. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to thumbs it up. Don't forget to thumbs up and... Uh, subscribe yeah oh and if you guys want to find our if you guys want to stop me on all other forms of social media feel free to um, my Instagram not my YouTube because this is YouTube um, but my Instagram my snapchat and my Twitter are down below in um, the description bar so feel free go ahead and stop me ask me questions Whatever, I'd love to hear from you guys. But thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again later. Bye. Ah.